in the hockey game. Puck comes back down to our right-hand side. Shane Tacker will play it back for the Grizzlies. Utah last night's first 12 shots of the hockey game and jumped to that one nothing lead, but 1-1 tie after 20 despite out shooting the rush, 16-3. Bounding puck in the neutral zone. Grizzlies back to get it. A couple of roster items of business to get to. Matt Barry, the ECHL's leading rookie scorer. Utah's second leading scorer. Called up to San Diego, the Ducks' AHL affiliate this morning. And then Josh McDonald, who took that ugly hit near side, unable to go tonight for Utah. Puck along the wall. It's shot in on Ryan Farragher. And he's there now coming up to the left-hand side of Langhammer is the rush back there to control. We're three minutes into this first period. Now a turnover picked up by Higby. He walks in, backhander, hacking, and a save made by Langhammer, but not overly confident back there on it. So good job. Grizzlies knock it down. Higby, Misiak. Brent Gwitt out there as Puck crosses the line. Here's a shot. Good job by Utah. They blocked it. Now it comes back up the far side. Misiak. Brent Gwitt crosses the red line, rolls for Higby. Toe drag left wing circles. Play it. 14-26. Left to go here in the first period. Puck dumped in. The Grizzlies in Rapid City playing for the second of five straight times. Five times in nine nights. We'll be in Rapid City coming up Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Utah trying to make it six straight wins here tonight. Make it a perfect three-game homestand. Back the other way. Comes Michiak with Higby and Brent Gwitt. Drops for Eric. He's got... Three goals in his last four games. Misiak drops. Tacker's shot. Batted away down there. And the puck comes out far side. Puck in the neutral zone. Rapid City trying to cross the line with it. Michael Bunting hopping in, spinning in. Now works it near side. Rush to the net. Redirected on Farragher. Save. Rebound. Whacked wide. Now slapped to the right of the net where Ryan Farragher makes the save. And now we've got some... Old-time hockey pushing and shoving up against the back wall. Back to the Mavericks center, no scores. Eric Higby lets his shot go for the side of that. That's turned away by Langhammer. Puck comes down low in the corner as it comes back out. And cleared, back down to our right-hand side, Petronero. Phil. Back for Eric. Get it in, back down to our left. 9.20 left to go in the scoreless first period. Puck knocked down, Charlie Soro. Whips it, cross ice, doesn't connect. Rapid City intercepts, and the rush will push it back the other way. Crucial Niski, Canodal, Walters, touch pass ahead. It's intercepted, and Rapid City gets it back. Grizzlies looking to get going here. Walters forces a turnover and was almost headed in around Sean Erickson, but he got back on the play, and Ryan Fairger now near side. Shot to the net from the pull. 72 to 87. It's right off of the faceoff. Here's a shot and a goal. And it's 1-0 rush with 8.43 left to go. And Grizzlies just not quite hopping at this point. And the rush score on their seventh shot right off the faceoff. So Grizzlies last night had been pretty good on faceoffs. Pretty good Wednesday night as well. But not winning one there. And Destry straight throws it in. Scott Brannon on the assist after winning the faceoff. So the turnover doesn't with two forwards out of the lineup tonight that were in it last night. Matt Barry going to play for San Diego after playing with the Norfolk Admirals last year out of Michigan State for a couple of weeks. Grizzlies looking to buzz back the other way. Binkley, Tacker, steered far side for Charlie Soro. Soro tries to get through a man, taken off the play, far side. Crucial Niski trying to come and get it, but Rapid City gets it back. There's a penalty coming up as a rush skater's down on the ice. It's not sure how much offense you're going to be able to muster here without Matt Berry and Josh McDonald. And 
Mentioned Barry Almeida missing his sixth straight game. Puck comes in far side. Grizzlies trying to knock it down. It's along the wall. Now it is intercepted by Sorrow, and Charlie gets the backhander all the way back down to our left. Halfway through the shorthanded situation, Alex Krushelinski for holding at 13.09. Rush coming back the other way. Send it the length of the ice. It hits a broken stick. Icing waved off. Now Sorrow trying to meet the puck. Stick it along. He's got it. Two on one for the Grizzlies. But he got it tied up. And some As Binkley holding and looking. Back down to our left-hand side. Drops it for Brent Gwitt. Comes off the wall. Grizzlies trying to keep it going. But it's broken up. Hardawa to Gwitt. Cross ice. Getranero take a shift period. Grizzlies down 1-0. Harder one than that. He just missed. Comes back out. Gwitt holds it in. Phil Pietranero out playing forward with Eric Higby with Pushkar in the penalty box. So Grizzlies down to 8 and 6 right now. So they're making it 9 and 5. Playing a skater short with Barry getting called up today. And there with Snyderman, Eric Canoto and Tacker. Grizzlies just coming back up with numbers, but Rush got back and blocked the shot. Left wing circle. This is the net. Farragher, they got a piece of it as the Grizzlies try and clear it. Leaping rapid city skater, and Narbona will hold it in. Now Canoto trying to get it out. Doesn't go out. Comes back to Canoto behind the net. Grizzlies battling for it. Shane Tecker, the length of the ice with 115 left to go here in the first period. Back there to play it. Rush coming back down to our right-hand side. 35 seconds of on this power play. Rapid City, 9.7%, 25th out of 28 teams in the ECHL on the power play coming into tonight. As Krushelinski looking for it. Rush, drop it back. Higby digs for it. Rapid City gets ahead, crosses the line. Binkley knocks it down. Higby can't find it, but... Keeps the stick moving and gets it back down to our left. Single digits left to go on the Corey Finagi cross check. As we approach 30 seconds left to go in the first period. Back the other way. Finagi is out. He'll race back to the bench and the Grizzlies get it cleared. Rush. Back the other way. Puck comes to the near side. It pinballs out. 13 points in 12 games. Leading rookies in scoring. Seven goals, six assists. As the Grizzlies knock it down. Mishiak. Pushes to Canoto, up to Eric Higby, leading Utah with four shots in the first. He's taken off the play. And it's back down low. Grizzlies battling for it. You're not going to get shut out here in this contest, so it's going to come down to how many goals do you allow. Russ sent it in high off of the glass as Mishiak takes a hack on the bouncing puck. It rolls free. Brent Witt picks it up. Slap shot save made. And now Rapid City trying to go up 2-0 on the power play for the third straight time. Grizzlies are going to look to kill it off. And keep it one nothing. But again, we're just having a hard time getting in the flow. Just always concerned at everything. And going shorthanded here against Rapid City, who's definitely due on the power play. They don't look like a power play less than 10%. Russ trying to whack it in. Canodal picks it up off the wall. Grizzlies get it cleared all the way back down to our right. Puck comes in on Langhammer. So... <laughs> You know, with the power play at 9.7%, 0 for 2 here, Rapid City's due. The Grizzlies going to try and keep them off the board as they look to get going here. Knocked down. Higby has it. Eric looking to try and get it to Crucial Niski. Now, Higby kind of fooled Rapid City, thinking he was going to go straight to Alex. He takes it himself. Now, Higby trying to force a turnover, and we're 45 seconds into the John Pushkar hook here in the second period. Four and a half into the frame. one nothing Rapid City. On a goal scored off of a face-off, 11-17 into the first. Grizzlies poking away. Krushelniski takes a bump as he was trying to head off to the races. Scored on two breakaways last night in his first professional hat trick. Made it 1-0, 4-1, and 5-4. Bunting throws it in deep, takes a funny bounce. It hits something and comes into the left-wing corner, the opposite area where it was ticketed. Rush player, cross-check to the ice in front of the net. As Rapid City will bounce it back out to the high slot. Gets through a man, and Brent Gwitt trying to run it down for Utah. Gwitt, Mich 
Higby poking it down. Puck comes off of the wall. Rush get it near side. Just a matter of time here for the Grizzlies. Rapid City now countering with a good shift in the Utah zone. Broken up. Left wing corner. Rapid City back to the point. Off of the wall. Down low. Higby trying to pick it up as Destry Strait has it. Higby and Destry Strait battling. And now Higby will knock him off the play. The Grizzlies don't get it out. And Higby... Trying to play it. It rolls in on Farragher. He dives down, covers up. 11.35 left to go with a second. We'll step aside, come back to the Maverick Center in one minute. That's it. Grizzlies trying to go. 26 for the last 27. Bounding puck. Comes out to the line. Rush holds it in for a second. Now Canodal off the wall. Walters takes a whack. Second chance. Siro. And again, you're still seeing a lot of zip from the Utah Grizzlies. Rapid City 0 for 3 on the power play. No shots. Utah will take it and clear it all the way back down to our right-hand side. What comes? Off of the wall, and I think the Grizzlies have some reasons here to really feel motivated. Puck comes off the wall, and Utah take it and clear it all the way back down to our right. 30 seconds into the shorthanded situation, 619. We'll have to go here in the second period, 1-0 Rapid City. Bounding puck ahead. Higby takes a slash in the neutral zone. Grizzlies come back with it, crucial Niski. Alex, right wing circle, gets around a man. Comes away with a puck, and the Grizzlies will back it up. Krushelinski trying to keep it in front of the line, but the backhanded pass intercepted, and Rapid City comes away with it. But Alex still got the puck into the Rapid City zone. Still killed some time here, but now the Rap Rapid City rush come away with a puck in the right-wing corner. Tacker cross-checks his man to the ice, and Krushelinski comes away with it as Rapid City tries to knock it down with a skate. Now off another skate. Krushelinski up. Count of one to nothing. Up the far side. Here comes Charles Sorrow. Charlie crosses the line. He'll send one in deep. Takes a funny bounce off of the glass. Goes right on top of the crease. But no Grizzlies there to knock it home. Went right to a rush defenseman. So all the way back down to our right-hand side. The rush will get whistled for icing. So we talked about... <laughs> Draw coming up to the right-hand side of Frank Langhammer. Grizzlies far side trying to hold it in. They do. Higby walks along the wall. Pulls up in the right wing corner. Brent Gwitt trying to come away with it. Grizzlies looking to grind down low, trying to find a way to tie up this game. Near side, Canodal. Brent Gwitt, a bounding puck. Comes to the far side. Grizzlies still hold it in, and Langhammer's low. Binkley gets a piece of the puck, and Jason comes off the wall. Rush, cross ice. Great job down there by Canodal. To Knocked down the centering pass. The rush trying to come back the other way. Now a Grizzly sent into the far wall as Utah was trying to get the puck out. And again, that's a situation where another penalty needs to be called. Higby back up for the Grizzlies. Crosses the line, gets it off of the far wall, and Utah will make a change. It was an interference on a Grizzlies player that potentially could have led to a Rapid City scoring chance in the Utah zone. And again... Don't see a right arm from Jeremy Tufts. It was over his head. And Binkley leaves it back for Connor Hardaway. Connor in the corner. Eric Higby. 13 minutes, 20 seconds left to go in regulation. Still 1-0 in favor of Rapid City. Hardaway. Mishiak gets a skate on at the red line. Comes into Rapid City territory. Is a rush. Looking to get it out. Grizzlies trying to Pick it up, Brent Gwitt, Higby, a dangerous centering pass. It's all the way back down to our right. Hardawa, Fanagi, Higby gets a stick on it at the red line. Now carries it in and crosses the blue line. It's knocked down, and Rapid City trying to come back the other way. Puck, backhander on Farragher, who makes a kick save. Russ trying to hold it in. It's a 13th shot of the game for Rapid City there after the Grizzlies... Last night allowed a season low, 21 shots on goal, but Russ has still found a way to make aggregate scoring here 5-5 through almost 120 minutes of hockey. Bounding puck, Brent Gwitt has it roll off his stick. Far side, Pietranero. Soccer, he's come cross ice with it. Tacker trying to hold it in. Is Helgeson battling for it? 
Oh, the Grizzlies were so close there. A bounding puck of the crease just didn't go in hard enough. Loose in front. Farragher makes the save on a cross-ice pass. All he can't do right now is take a penalty because we've got 6.36 left. So we've got to be very cognizant of that with the power plays 4-3 Rapid City. Walters knocks the puck down. Grizzlies trying to get it up ice. Now it's a late offside. It's five-game winning streak on the line. Tacker leaves it for Pietranero. Grizzlies come cross ice. Tacker comes to get it. Shane drops for Helgeson. Wines, fires. Murs made 30 saves. He hasn't been tested enough. Hardaway in off of the back wall. Trying to go to Krusilinski. Finds him. He tries to aim it in front for Soro, but... Rapid City is working hard out there as Albets. Draw back in the corner, controlled by Rapid City. They go cross ice. They're a smart team. They're disciplined. They play hard, and they haven't made anything easy. They haven't given the puck away. Walters, Soro, Grizzlies in the neutral zone. Can't pick it up as it works along the near wall, and it's bounced into the right wing corner. Binkley, far side. Grizzlies come away with it. Tacker leads the way. Shane for Saro. Krusilinski to the net. Walters into the slot. Ryan works in. Taken down. Backhander in front. And what a save by Lang. Grizzlies just trying to protect that empty net. I always feel like when Farragher stops everything but one, you have a chance to win. And you probably should. But that's just the way this one goes tonight. Grizzlies shut out for the first time this season. And that will...